Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn with Randy. Today I'll show you how to uh, replace your uh, phone brake pads and the uh, process and procedure to do it. So first we went to the uh, to spare parts and we show them the registration card. They uh, get the chassis number and uh, verify the exact parts that is required. So having the uh, parts, the correct parts, the genuine parts, and with the correct part number, we purchase the original brake pads. The comparison between original and duplicate is the duplicate creates more uh, grinding noise compared to the uh, original brake pads. It is more grip and stopping power. But of course, the price has like... Uh, 100% uh, more uh, costlier than the uh, duplicate part. So we went to the shop and uh, lift up the uh, car, the side where we were gonna replace the, uh, the brake pads. In this case, this is the uh, left side of the vehicle. So it was uh, jacked up where the uh, uh, subframe is. On the side where is the subframe, of the uh, front tire so make sure that it is in the proper secured uh, jack lifting lifting position and uh, the handbrake is on because the uh, rear tire has the uh, stopper or a piece of uh, wood or metal so that it will not uh, by chance to roll back so first we uh, uh, loosen the uh, the bolts, the lug nuts, and then after uh, loosening the lug nuts, uh, we lift up the jack uh, completely, or lifting up the tires completely. All the lug nuts were loosened. Um, using the uh, pneumatic uh, pneumatic tool to uh, open or un unscrew and thread all the uh, six uh, lug nuts. After we open the lug nuts, we uh, remove the tire, and uh, for safety, you can insert. The, uh, the tire or the wheel under the car so that uh, by safe or safety in case your uh, lifting jack slips it will still fall on the tire but don't worry it will not damage your tire as so the, the tire is strong enough to hold uh, such uh, weight no so after removing the tire we loosen the, uh, the caliper uh, lower uh, uh, bolt so we can uh, lift up the uh, caliper and remove the brake pads. After uh, removing the brake pads, uh, we use a special tool that is the uh, compressor to compress or to push back the uh, pistons or the caliper to uh, uh, zero position or the open position so that uh, it will be easy to install the new brake pads basically the old brake pad is already worn out so it has uh, the piston is more uh, more outer if you're not gonna press it back it will be difficult to install the uh, pick for the new brake pads furthermore uh, you need to open the hood and uh, check the uh, level of the brake fluid open the cup the reservoir cup of the brake fluid make sure that uh, you put some rags so that when you compress or squeeze back the uh, caliper the uh, brake fluid will not overflow and uh, uh, will cause uh, spillage over your uh, engine compartment new brake pad comes with the uh, uh, spring or the uh, uh, lock spring, the return spring. So this spring uh, acts like uh, you're securing the uh, brake pads holder 
to prevent squeaking sound in the V-bolt. So the old uh, spring was removed and uh, we installed the uh, new uh, spring. It comes with the uh, new brake pads. So four of them were uh, replaced. So make sure to install it in the right configuration so that uh, it will uh, securely hold in the right uh, position. So this is uh, very easy to, uh, to install. And furthermore, you need to check the brake disc. Since my brake disc is still uh, uh, clear or the surface is still smooth, uh, I just a bit uh, I just had it polished a uh, couple of um, um, weeks ago, so I did not to do a polishing. But if you feel that you're uh, when you step in the brake and there is a shattering or a vibration, shattering you call. It, then you need to do uh, a brake skimming or polishing of the brake, brake disc through machine shop. Machine shop have this uh, uh, surface, uh, surface uh, machining for the uh, brake disc. Mm -hmm. So the brake disc uh, is the reason why if the brake disc is not smooth, it's the reason why there is a brake vibration. Especially when you're speeding up at uh, 80 or 90 or 100 and when you press the brake, steering shakes. So this is the common uh, uh, reason, root cause. Then in that case you need to do a polishing or a brake disc skimming. So now uh, we install the new one, new brake pads and uh, properly secure it in the right position. Furthermore, the, uh, the caliper, it has these two uh, uh, ball, the uh, ball feed rubber, so make sure it is properly moving, it's not stuck, otherwise it will cause an unbalanced worn out, one side of your brake pads will be uh, wearing very easily compared to the other side, that is the common reason, so you need to remove the uh, two slider or securing bolt for the caliper and grease it or clean it, remove the rust formation and grease it. So this is how easy it is to uh, replace the brake pads and uh, uh, you can do it easily by yourself with uh, some tools. Normally with your socket number 19 or 21 you can open the uh, the tire bolt or the lug nuts and they with your mechanical jack you can easily pick up the car and with a spanner combination spanner a box wrench you can open the caliper bolt so we tighten the bolt and we secure it well and, uh, and the thing is that's the completion of the replacement of the left side uh, front brake pads so after uh, checking all the brake pads position, the spring, and the uh, any visible uh, mechanism or mechanical parts to be checked uh, during opening of the tire, then you can carry out or do the inspection as well. So now it's time to place back the tire. Uh, by hand you have to fix the uh, the bolts uh, so that uh, if you use your uh, pneumatic gun and if, if the thread is not set properly it, it might damage the, uh, the uh, bolt or the uh, or the nut so basically uh, I suggest you have to do it by your hand and uh, secure the thread of the nut once you feel that it's already in a proper uh, threading and uh, you can now use the pneumatic uh, impact wrench so uh, that is to avoid uh, unnecessary unwanted replacing of the, uh, the uh, wheel nut so after uh, installing the nut make sure to tighten the uh, uh, crosswise so that it will balance uh, the uh, position of the of the tire securing the wheel hub and uh, 
make sure that it is properly tight all of them and uh, you can use also uh, the uh, if you have uh, uh, if you have a torque wrench you can use a torque wrench to check and verify yeah, if all are on the same uh, tightness even with your uh, uh, socket uh, socket wrench with extension the power handle you can securely tighten all the wheel uh, uh, wheel so that you will have a peace of mind that uh, everything is properly tightened now we move to another side now i'm showing you a comparison between the new the new brake pads and the old brake pads as you see the old brake pads is already uh, having around 20 percent the groove is already uh, been worn out as you see the old one uh, it, it is a uh, uh, duplicate brake pad and uh, it is causing uh, a great uh, vibration and uh, like uh, grounding or grinding sound when you are uh, pressing the brake so i recommend uh, better to uh, buy uh, original uh, oem brake pads from the uh, manufacturer because that will give you uh, the uh, right uh, feeling of the brake when you press the brake it, is, it has more uh, stopping power compared to the duplicate parts the duplicate parts yes it will work but it's not that smooth compared to the original brake parts so as i said this is the uh, brake uh, uh, this is the brake fluid with the servo tank we need to open the cup and uh, put the rag under it because uh, sometimes during servicing they are feeling it uh, why they are feeling it because if your brake pads is wearing off if it is worn out it needs more brake fluid to enter inside the caliper so that it can push the piston out so uh, uh, when you install uh, uh, when you remove the uh, worn out brake pads and you squeeze back the, uh, the piston of the caliper then the brake fluid uh, tends to go move up and if you don't open the reservoir tank or uh, brake fluid reservoir tank up it can cross cause back pressure and all and also it can damage the uh, plastic cup so better remove the uh, brake fluid reservoir tank put the rag under it so that when it spill over it will not mess uh, in your engine compartment so uh, the same thing we did for the other side we remove the tire and uh, also we uh, remove the old brake pads we squeeze back the uh, the uh, caliper piston and uh, we install a new brake pads so uh, i'm checking here uh, both uh, side brake pads whether there is an even worn out so if the worn out is not the same that means you need to clean the caliper uh, uh, bolt the calipers bolts slider uh, the common sign is uh, if, if it is uh, stuck up one side uh, it's or uh, wear off compared to the other side so uh, when you press the brake two actions happen the caliper moves uh, in and out as well as the piston of the caliper in and out so if it is unbalanced or say the uh, securing or the bolt slider bolt for the caliper is stuck up then what happens is one side is getting more worn out compared to the other side so we need to open the, the uh, securing bolt for the caliper and clean it with sandpaper or WD-40 and grease it and check the uh, boot there is this rubber boot and uh, you have to put some grease on it okay so the same thing we install uh, the uh, springs securing spring and the spacer and we fix back the uh, brake pads so if you are liking this uh, video please uh, uh, 
will be highly appreciated if you like and subscribe and even share. We will uh, continue uh, sharing helpful uh, helpful video so that you can get uh, ideas, uh, practical daily ideas how to do your uh, uh, common technical work or common uh,